Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel of Yokai Shi Trading Card Game. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm not going to ask you to subscribe just yet. Instead, I'll ask you to watch the video all the way through and then decide whether or not I am worth your subscription. So now, you saw it in the title. We're going to get into this and it's going to be a Yokai Shi card showcase. I'm gonna go through these cards here and basically showcase them, but I'm not gonna go through all of them at once. No, 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 no. You see, here on this channel, as I am making a card game out of pre existing creatures of folklore, I figure I'll add a little bit of. Uh, Elements of education, you know, give some insight on any of the folklores, tales, legends, myths that comes with these uh, these yokai, I should say. So, um, I wasn't quite sure how I was going to uh, uh, reveal them, so I figured for this video, I would draw them randomly from this deck of mock cards. Yes, these are mock cards, not the official final product. Uh, the, you could consider these to be like the alpha versions, I suppose. You know, these are what I'm gonna, these are what I'm using for play testing. Um, so, what we're gonna do here is randomly shuffle. Yes, we're gonna randomly shuffle these cards here. Uh, these mock cards are made of cardstock, so they're pretty thin, uh, pretty flimsy. So you know, doing this is pretty easy. Right here. You know, split, 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 you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, let's see, how should I do this? I guess we'll do them three at a time. Um, all right. So, first three. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Okay, let me adjust the camera. All right. Let's see here, which one to do first? Hmm, how about the center one? And we have, ah, <laughs> well, didn't expect to see you so soon. So, who we have here is Loyal Boy Hachiko. Now, um, Loyal Boy Hachiko is a light type yokai card in this game um, once again these little symbols this is typing attack type and weakness but in the final product they're not gonna look like circles I just put that there because uh, it's 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 mock it's not the final thing you know um, this is just there as a placeholder um, and right here this little section over here is for like uh, category classification and that's mostly for like gameplay mechanics such as like for like support cards there might be like this is Inu so Inu is basically dog in Japanese so um, there might be future there might be cards like spells support cards that come out that said that only works for Inu cards or of the sorts so yeah and its effect here is when this yokai is set as leg plus one SP and SP is sh is short for sentinel point um, there will be videos on everything involving the game but yes so sentinel point and sentinel point in my game is basically your life point so you know if you summon this guy as a leg then boom you get an automatic one extra uh, sentinel point his HP is three and his attack is two. In my game, it is rather common for a yokai uh, or mid-level yokai or, or such to have four HP or lower. Actually, no, it's more common for them to have either three or four HP. And two attack is the average attack. It's common amongst the game. Um, and then for stronger yokai that hit harder, they can have three. Um, uh, de depending and uh, for some high 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 level yokai um, they can have four uh, in attack so yes now 
Loyal Boy Hachiko. If you're watching this, maybe you're familiar with the tale of Hachiko, but allow me to give you a brief uh, story. So this card is based off of a the true story of a dog that actually that a dog that waited at a station for his owner until he died. Yes. So basically, there was a Shiba Inu. That was owned by a col by a college professor. This was like in I had, uh, they this was not too long ago. This was actually like they had trains and stuff back then. This was probably early 1900s, um, and this college professor was an elderly person. So every day this professor would go to work and he would bring and the dog would walk with him to the station, and the dog would then see him off, walk back home and then come back to the station and wait for his master to come back. Now, on one day, his master went to work and got a heart attack at work. And the thing is, he lived, like, I think he worked in Tokyo, but he lived, like, you know, he had to take a train every day, so he lived in a different area. So, unfortunately, the dog did not know that his master died. Um, and as a result, the dog would walk to the station every day around the time his master would come off the station and he would sit and wait sit and wait sit and wait every single day um and the thing is people took notice of this and they would put water for the dog feed the dog um i heard in one uh story that someone did adopt the dog and cared for the dog it's just that the dog chose every day to walk to the station and wait for his owner. So the dog did have a new owner, it's just that the dog was well trained enough to walk to the station and come back. So basically this was the dog's routine, waiting for his master. And this is Loyal Boy Hachiko. Next card. Hmm, who do we have here? Who do we have here? And uh, boop, right here. And aha. We have Yama Orabi. So Yama Orabi. And this is a wind type or flying type, air type, however you want to call it. It is a bird. Um, type wind, attack type wind, weak to lightning. It has 3 HP, 2 attack. And its effect here says, once per summon, this yokai can mimic the effect of one yokai your opponent controls so uh, once per once per summon basically means this uh, this effect can only be used once each time it's brought into it brought into play you know so you know per summon um, and to mimic the effect of a yokai so this so this taps into the lore now the yo the yama orabi is basically a bird yokai that lives uh, closely close to the mountains. I forget which region of Japan. Uh, this is all off the top of my head, by the way. So you should be impressed. <laughs> uh, but um, so yes, uh, this yokai lives in the mountains. Um, it's a small bird with a comically large head. Um, that is how it's been described to me. So it specifically has a comically large head. Um, and the reason being is that it's known as the shouting bird. Um, it, mimics, uh, it mimics people's voices and sounds. So like if you're in the mountain area and you start yelling, it's going to yell back at you copying what you said. And I think in, in the exact same voice. However... Do not getting a shouting match with this yokai because it is said that if you were to shout back and forth with this yokai repeatedly and basically having a yelling match, um, you will die. <laughs> yes, so um, though these yokais seem kind of harmless in some capacity, definitely don't try to out shout this little guy. So that's the Yama Orabi. And last, but not least, in fact, this will probably be the last card of the video because we're already, I'm looking at here, we're already reaching 10 minutes and I'm tr not trying to have these videos be 
extremely long. So, the last card of this video, I wonder what we have. And we have, ah, okay, we have, okay, the at, you see, listen, I might be making this game, but I can't pronounce all the names. Uh, the Atui Kakura. Okay, Atui Kakura. Atui Kakura or Atu Kuk, Atu Kukura. How, you know, it's it's only because, you know, you kind of have to pronounce every vowel. So the U, the, the, the U-I makes the U-I sound. So Atu, Atui Kakura, Atui Kakura. So, you know brief little Japanese language lesson for you uh, I am not an expert speaker I just some I'm not sure how a, an expert would pronounce this but I learned to pronounce every like vowel slash syllable so that's how I pronounce it um, but yes this is a um, sea cucumber yokai that has grown fairly large um, not like humongously like people size but supposedly at least the size of a leg you know, I think the smallest is like the size of a grown man's like full leg. So we're talking about like uh, a good three to four feet. Um, and it's supposedly a thick boy because these yokai typically um, uh, stay away from people. Uh, but if you startle them and there are ships nearby, they tend to thrash about when they're startled. And if there's enough of them and they're thrashing about a lot, they they may just capsize your ship, um, and the ship. Now we're not talking about big old giant ships here. You know, probably ships that fishermen use and all that. So yeah, um, and now let's see. Oh, this is some flavor text. Oh, okay, I thought this one had an effect, but it says here uh, the Atuikura Atuikakura is an enormous sea cucumber. This yokai rarely. This yokai is rarely seen due to its underwater lifestyle. When it's startled, it thrashes about smashing or capsizing ships. So yeah, basically what I said. So yes, this is the yokai right here. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Um, comment which out of the three shown in this video you like the most. Um, if you have any questions about, about you know, any possible yokai I may have or you might want to see in the future, like you want to take a guess, do I have this yokai, do I have that yokai, um, yeah, comment down below. I'll be sure to answer and be sure to follow me on my socials down in the description below. So with that, I will see you all next time. Thank you and goodbye.